A while back, I created a video recreating some of the craziest goalkeeper moments in history, one of which was the Syrian goalkeeper Ibrahim Alma's punch distribution. Instead of kicking the ball, he punches it, and it goes miles. So while making this video, it got me thinking, what is the world record for longest football punch? So I hopped online and did some research. After a quick Google search, there weren't any definitive results. So I went onto the Guinness World Records website and looked further. I still couldn't find any records which were remotely close to the world record football punch, but I did find this, the farthest distance throw of a football in a competitive match held by Ali Reza. But this isn't a punch, it's a throw. Eventually, I found this video on YouTube where a goalkeeper challenges a heavyweight boxer by the name of Robert Hellenius to punch the ball as far as he can. And he punches the ball with an uppercut and it goes miles. There's no real result of how far the ball goes, but it goes quite a distance. But still, there is no real record. I decided we're going to be basing the record on this video. Ibrahim Alma punches the ball so hard it nearly reaches the other side of the halfway circle. Unfortunately, this video doesn't show exactly where it lands, but I drew a line so we can make an estimate. Keep in mind, many goalkeepers struggle to get this distance with a regular goal kick or a side volley, so this is insane. So, I went to the pitch, got my boots on, and started measuring out the distance I needed to get to break this record. Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back. We're back on the pitch again, and we're going for another world record. Started out here on the 18-yard box. I took my measuring tape all the way to the other side of the circle of the midway line. I put two little goals here. Let's see how far this really is. 45 meters is where we're at. And that's where I've put the goals at because in the video you can see it goes about to the other side of the halfway circle. Trust me, this is gonna be difficult. It's not a technique I've mastered yet, but I think I can do this. It's gonna be a grind, just like the goalkeeper's side volley world record we broke. So if you haven't seen that yet, go check that out. But we're gonna get this. Let's go. First off, we need a quick warm up, get the shoulders warm because we're gonna be doing this a whole lot. So I don't wanna injure myself. So first quick warm up and then we're gonna get started. Not really a technique to this, honestly, as far as I know, just punching it as hard as you can. It's all about trajectory here as well to get it to go low and straight, but not too high. So the first few attempts didn't go too well. I really had to get used to the technique and get a feel for where I wanted to hit the ball and how I wanted to hit the ball. This wasn't going to be near as easy as I thought it would be. So this is basically what my first few attempts looked like. <coughs> Nevertheless, I was very motivated to break this record. So we had to get the ball to reset and try again. All right, so in the video, his ball goes relatively high up. So I think the trajectory of this needs to be just right. It was the same with the side volley as well. This isn't gonna be easy, guys. This is very far. I mean, look, that's miles. I think if we hit it just right, we can get it. It's just like with a side volley. We can do this. How sick would it be? Two goalkeeper world records. All right, let's do this. After a few rounds, I started getting more consistent with my hits. Although my hand did start to hurt, I knew this was possible, so I kept pushing through. For some reason, most of the balls I'm hitting end up going far left. And I think it's because I'm swinging through with my arm and it's curving all the way to the left. So for the next round, I'm gonna aim a bit more well, to the right-hand side, so it goes straighter, I hope, at least. This round, adjusting my technique a bit, I finally felt like I had it down. I was getting more distance, and I finally had my first close attempt. I have to say, from my point of view, it seemed closer than when I see it now on the GoPro, but still, we're getting closer and closer each time. And the attempt after that was even closer. I mean, look at this it bounced a few meters away. This made me realize this was definitely possible. I just had to get the perfect hit. So we reset and pushed on. It's quite interesting, the things that start to kind of play in your mind. There's these types of phases that you go through. 
while trying to accomplish something like this. There's always that little devil on your shoulder saying, nah, you can't do this. Just repack your things and go home, sit on the couch, watch a movie, relax, you know? There's something inside of me that keeps telling me, no, why would I give up? I wanna keep, I wanna keep doing, I wanna do this, right? So it's kind of like in my head going back and forth. Don't, I'm not a crazy person, but I'm not. It's interesting to think about, you know, as I'm getting, walking to the other side of the pitch, getting the balls ready to reset and go again. There's these little conversations going in my head. You know, why don't you just pack your stuff and go home? It's been okay. But no, I want to get this done. I have to get this done for you guys, for the entertainment and for myself as well, because I set a goal and I want to get it done. So it's quite interesting uh, to say the least. But yeah, of course we're going to keep going. Let's go. For this next round, I decided to switch it up again. I took more of a run-up to see if I can get even more power behind the swing. Eventually, using this technique, I did get another very close attempt. Alright, I don't know if you guys can see this, but my hand is kind of getting swollen quite bad. Um, it's because I'm hitting it right there. but. We will not give up. And now the sun's come out. <sighs> I might be filming in the wrong direction with the sun out like this. I hope you guys can see the trajectory a bit properly. But I got the GoPro there, so it should be all right. Eventually, I started to get frustrated. I had been out of the pitch for quite a few hours, but I still hadn't gotten the record. I'd gotten close, but not close enough. Then, this happened. I hit the perfect ball. The trajectory was just right. It was going the distance. I thought I'd broken the record, but I wasn't sure. From where I was standing, I couldn't exactly see. So I checked the GoPro footage. As you can see, it's just a few centimeters shy of going on the circle. This wasn't good enough. I just couldn't go home with the fact that it was just a few centimeters off the line. So I kept going. Hand is starting to swell up quite bad. It's hurting. We're getting so close to this record, guys. But I know we can do this. I know it's in the air. I can smell it. We're gonna break this record, guys. Let me tell you that we are gonna. It's all about pushing through. If you set a goal for yourself, you persevere, you keep going, you will achieve what you set out to do. Let's go. This next round, I was feeling it. I knew if I was gonna break the record, it had to be this round. I had this hit, which seemed perfect. Great trajectory, good distance, but just a few meters off. That very same round, I had another record worthy hit, but it bent off to the left a bit. The trajectory was perfect, the power was good, but I'm not sure if it made the distance. I'm gonna let you guys decide. And imagine if this just went straight ahead. I'm pretty sure this would have been it, but I wasn't happy with this, so I kept on going. Now I had been out on the pitch for a good few hours. I knew my hand could only take a few more attempts. Then this happened. I struck the ball perfectly. The trajectory was just right, but it was just not good enough. Let me tell you how demoralizing this was. I had three or four good attempts that came just short of the target, but I wasn't ready to give up. I knew I had a few more attempts in, so I pushed on. I had so many close attempts, but finally, we got it. All right. Oh, thank you. We done it. After being on the pitch for hours on end, we broke the record. And let me tell you this, 
if you set a goal for yourself and you work towards it and you work as hard as you can, when you eventually achieve what you set out to do, the best feeling in the world. And I was even crazy enough to try one more attempt because I had one ball left in the set. And then this happened. I broke the record again, twice in a row. <laughs> I want you guys to decide which one was better, the one that hit the crossbar or the one that just went over the line. Let me know down in the comments below. I think I'm gonna stick to the side volley for now. It's a way more consistent type of distribution. Side volleys and goal kicks, you know, this is so unreliable and unpredictable. Um, but yeah, I can't believe that goalkeeper did that in a real professional game. Crazy to think. All right, I'll speak to you guys back at home. All right, so that's it. We broke another goalkeeper world record, guys. That's crazy, man. This was a grind. We were out there for such a long time, but eventually we got it done and I'm so happy. And I just wanted to speak to you guys and apologize for the lack of content on my YouTube lately. Unfortunately, I got COVID and I'm stuck in quarantine still for another few days. But after that, we're back on the pitch. And we got some more awesome content coming your way, guys. So definitely stick around for that. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.